Hi, everyone. I'm David Muir with ABC's World News Tonight. I'm grateful you reached out to me as you all gather for this Chairman's Weekend. You know, people often ask me, who was the most interesting person, most inspiring person, most famous person you've ever interviewed? And there have been so many. There have been presidents, the Pope. But I wish you knew how often I bring up an interview with someone else, with Sam. I remember putting in the request for the interview, and, you know, Sam didn't need to do any more interviews. He had no desire to be famous. And his parents, Leslie and Scott, told me that, adding that any interview would be up to Sam. So I was so glad he said yes, because so much of what Sam said remains inspiring to me and to everyone here at ABC to this day. What he said about helping his classmates, what he said about his parents, is really a lesson for us all and is reason enough to keep Sam's fight alive. Here's just a small part of what Sam told me. That sleepy walk down the hallway first thing in the morning. This was Sam getting ready for school. Mom, can you hold my book while I brush my teeth? Mom was about to start her day too. A doctor who has spent her every waking moment searching for a cure. And you say about your mom, she doesn't have a normal job. Yeah, I kind of just want my mom to be done with progeria for her sake, because uh, my mom will keep working forever until progeria is cured. At school, he was just Sam. In fact, his classmates would turn to Sam for help. I got it. I'm just really confused. This is my... Uh... Tell me your equation. You're in math class. <laughs> yeah. And I love it, how you had to turn around and help the guy behind you. So just keep um, subtracting three just to make it easier on yourself. I'm sure there, were some, there was some simple math going on there. But, uh, you know, I, I just think I was trying to help out. I will never forget Sam was so modest. Doctors once told his parents children like Sam lived at 13. When I sat down with him, he was about to turn 17. You believe so many of us take time for granted. Mm -hmm. Every time I see Sam, it's sort of a moment. He gets off the bus. It's a moment, and I treasure it. There's a lot going on around us that you can easily miss. I really think that, uh, you know, I lucked out on the parent lottery. We lucked out on the son lottery. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I was the lucky one to be in that room with Sam and his parents, Scott and Leslie. They continue their tireless work discovering one treatment already that's extending children's lives. And I know that they believe that with enough resources, we will find a cure to this disease in our lifetime. So let's all help the Progeria Research Foundation find the child, find the way, find the cure. Dr. Gordon and Scott, I thank you for remembering that interview and for the example you have set for the rest of us as parents, as advocates who simply won't give up. Sam was right about his parents. So let's all keep fighting for Sam.